We're now going to apply the methods of calculus to parametric curves. And so you have two different functions now, functions of x and y, and you want to find the dy over dx. And to do this, you can just think of the chain rule. So say you wanted to get dy to dt, then you would just, this would be equal to dy over dx multiplied by dx over dt. And so if you rearrange this now, we'll get down to our equation for finding tangents. So we want to get this term by itself. And to do that, you're just going to divide both sides of this equation by dx over dt. So, therefore, dy over dx is equal to dy over dt divided by dx over dt. And another way you could think about this is if you wanted to get dy over dx, um, if you just cancel the dt's on this side, well, you're going to be left with dy over dx. And so now let's run through an example because it's one thing to, to talk about it, but it's another to actually see it done and to, to understand the process. And uh, I should also point out that in this case, dx over dt cannot be zero because you can't divide by zero. But okay, so let's do a, a simple example. So dy over dx is equal to dy over dt divided by dx over dt. So now we just need to take two derivatives essentially. It's not that much different than what you're, you're used to. So the derivative of y with respect to t is going to be 2t plus 1. And the derivative of x with respect to t is going to be derivative of the first term times the second term. So 1 times sine t plus the first term times the derivative of the second term. So plus t cosine of t. And that's it. So that's how you would go about taking the derivative of dy with respect to dx. So now let's, let's move to another example here. So we want to find the equation of a tangent line. And we're given that x is equal to 1 plus 4t minus t squared, and y is equal to 2 minus t cubed, and we're also given that t is equal to 1. So to find an equation of a tangent, there's, there's two things we need. We need a point on the line, and we need to figure out the slope, and that should do it. So we're given t equals to 1, so to get our point, we can just plug 1 in for t now in each of these equations. And so let's do that. So x equals 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 1 squared. So 1 plus 4 minus 1. So our x coordinate is going to be 4. Then our y coordinate, well, let's plug in 1 for t again. So 2 minus 1 cubed. And 1 to the anything is just 1. So this is just 2 minus 1, which is 1. So now we have our point. So our point on the line is going to be 4, 1. So we're halfway there now. Now we just need to take the derivative, so dy over dx. So to do that, dy over dx is going to be equal to, well, the derivative of y is just going to be negative 3t squared. So negative 3t squared. Uh, the t is a constant, so it's just going to go away. And then on the bottom, the derivative of x is just going to be 4 minus 2t, so 4 
minus 2t. And this is our derivative now. So now, all that's left is we just need to plug in t equals 1 to our derivative. That will give us negative 3 times 1 squared divided by 4 minus 2 times 1. And this is going to be equal to negative 3 divided by 4 minus 2, so negative 3 divided by 2. So this is our slope now, negative 3 divided by 2. So now, to write out this equation, we just do y minus our y point, which is 1, which is equal to our slope, so negative 3 over 2, times x minus our x point, which is just 4. And, you know, I'd accept this. This is a, a legitimate equation to a line, but some people like to, to simplify it further. So we could also say that y is equal to negative 3x plus 7. So either way you have it is fine. They're both technically equations for lines. But uh, in this case, we just multiplied through and then uh, added 1 to each side. And it's also important to note, so say you wanted to find a horizontal tangent, well, that's going to happen when the change in y or the change in t is equal to 0. So this will give you a horizontal tangent if, and this IFF here means just if and only if, dy over dt equals 0 and dx over dt cannot equal 0. And then similarly, if dx over dt is equal to 0, we're going to get a vertical tangent if and only if dy over dt, hopefully you can see that, is not equal to 0, and dx over dt is equal to 0. So that's pretty much it. That's all the steps you need to know. And see you in the next video.